her.
same was in the beginning with God, all things were made by him. And without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in the darkness, and the darkness comprehend it not. There was a man sent from God, whose name was John. The same came for a witness to bear witness of the light. And all men through him might believe. For he was not that light, but was sent to bear the witness of that light. That was the true light which shined in every man that cometh into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. I have read 10 verses of the book of the Lord. May the Lord have a blessing to the reading of his words. Come on and put those hands together and give God a big clap of praise. I'll be coming from the book of Ecclesiastes, the third chapter. And it begins reading, To everything there is a season, a time to every purpose under the heaven, a time to be born, and a time to die, a time to plant, and a time to pluck up that which is planted, a time to kill, time to heal, time to break down, and a time to build up, time to weep, and a time to laugh, time to mourn, and a time to dance, a time to cast away stones, and a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace, and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to get, and a time to lose. Time to keep and a time to cast away. Time to rent and a time to sow. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. What profit hath he that worketh that wherein he labored? I have seen the travail which God hath given to the sons of men to be exercised in it. He hath made everything beautiful in his time. Also he hath set the world in their heart, so that no man can find out the work that God maketh from the beginning to the end. May the Lord continue to add a blessing to the reading of his word.
of Chandra's Indigenous and Unity Baptist Church and has served in several capacities. She is one of the great and faithful leaders of our church and the kind of a member every pastor deserves. We are all aware of the excellent care and love she provided to her husband, Daryl. Our pastor has owned a home health care agency for over 35 years, and she would often comment of the amazing care that Deaconess Jordan provided to her husband, Brother Darrell, and wish that all of her clients had that kind of love and support. So to Deaconess Jordan, DJ, and the rest of the family, we want you to know that we'll continue to pray for you. If there's anything we can do, we are ready to assist you. We do not wish to force ourselves into your private grief, but we are here to serve when needed. God has said he will not fail thee, nor will he forsake thee. Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 31 and 6. We believe this and we pray for your comfort and strength. Done by the order of the Unity Baptist Church, Reverend Barbara J. Mann, Pastor, Deaconess, uh, Deacon Inez Yates, Chairman of Chair of the Board. The Shallow Baptist Church, Reverend Benjamin Brown, Pastor of Blackstone, Virginia. To the family of the late Brother Darrell Antoine Jordan Sr. For his anger endureth but for a moment, and his favor is life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning, Psalm 35. On behalf of the Shallow Baptist Church family, we would like to express our deepest sympathy to the family on today and the loss of your loved one. May it comfort you to know that our thoughts and prayers are with you and your family. Again, we share in your sorrow. If we can be of any assistance, please don't hesitate to call on us. We pray that all, in all ways, God will strengthen you, he will guide you, and he will give you comfort. I commend you to him who is able to comfort you and will dry your tears and heal your broken heart if you put your trust in him. There is an open gate at the end of the road, though each must go alone, and the light we cannot see. Our Father claims his own, but beyond the gate your loved one finds happiness and rest, and there's a comfort in the thought that a loving God knows best. Sorry for submitted to the Shallow Baptist Church, from Benjamin Brown, Jr., Pastor, and, pa and Deacon Tyree Ford, Chairman of the Ministry to the family from the Newberry County High School class of 1985. We, the DCHS class of 85, would like to express our heartfelt condolences on the passing of Daryl. We were deeply saddened to hear the news and can only imagine the sorrow that you must feel. He was just not a classmate. He was a friend and an inspiration to us all. But we always cherished the fond memories of him. And during our year together in school and later in life, his kindness, his humor, and unwavering support made a lasting impact on everyone who had the privilege to know him. As we reflect on the moments we shared, it's clear that Daryl has left an indelible mark on our lives. He taught us the value of friendship, empathy, and perseverance. We believe that his legacy will continue to resonate in our actions and how we treat others. During the time of grief, please know that our thoughts are with you and the family. We hope that you will find comfort and the love and support of those that surround you. If there is anything that we can do, please don't hesitate to let us know. And honoring Daryl, let us all remember the light he brought into our lives and carry that spirit forward in our own lives. He will, he will be greatly missed, but his memory will always remain in our hearts. With deepest sympathy and love, then we can count high school class of 1985. Shallow Baptist Church in Dinwiddie, Virginia, to our dear sister Nadine Jordan Myers, this letter is to acknowledge that your son, Darrell A. Jordan, confessed Christ as his savior at an early age and was baptized and joined the Shallow Baptist Church of Dinwiddie, where the Jordan family has been longtime members. Second Corinthians 5 and 1 says, For we know that if our earthly house, this tent, is destroyed, we have another building that is, that is made, not made with hands, but eternal in the heavens. The pastor, officers, and members of Shallow extend to Brother Daryl Jordan's family our deepest sympathy. As stated in Hebrews, Hebrews 13 and 5, he himself has said, I will not in any way fail you, nor give you, nor leave you without support. We pray that our Heavenly Father, that during this difficult time, you will continue to look to Jesus and find peace in your time of sorrow, and that you will be reassured knowing that shall will keep you in prayer. Therefore, be resolved that a copy of this letter be given to the Jordan family and one filed in the archives of Shallow. Prayer be submitted, Reverend Kelly M. C. Smith, Pastor, Melanie M. Coles, Church Clerk. Rocky Branch Baptist Church in Sutherland, Virginia. 
to Angel and Janelle Jordan and the Rocky Branch family, I want you to know that we were saddened to hear your beloved father's passing. Cherish the memories and keep them forever in your mind. Our church extends our love, our prayers, and we celebrate both of you at this difficult time. Our prayers that both of you feel peace that surpasses all understanding, knowing that he is now resting in the arms of our Savior, Jesus Christ. As you celebrate the life and home born of your father, be encouraged and know that God will even see you through this difficult time. Remember this scripture, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. John 3, 16. It is done by the order of the Rocky Branch Baptist Church on this third day of October, 2024, Reverend Corey T. Bland, Pastor, Dr. Tory S. Walker, Church Club. And lastly, in memory of Daryl Antoine Jordan, dear Nadine and family, the Southside High School class of 1968 sends our deepest sorrow and heartfelt condolences in the loss of your dear beloved son. Though many of us do not know Daryl personally, it is clear that he was a bright light in the lives who had the privilege to know him. We know and recognize that his laughter, kindness, and spirit touched the heart of many, and his absence will be felt in the community and the family circle. We understand that words can offer little comfort in times as, th as this, but please know that you are that we are here to support you in any way. Matthew 5 and 4 says, Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Nadine, our thoughts and prayers are with you and your family. With deepest sympathy, your classmates, the South South High School class of 1968. We'd also like to acknowledge the following cards from the family. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. This is from the Monumental Baptist Church. Thank you, you family. This is coming from in Christian love from your neighbors of the Harris and Fitzgerald Streets in Blackstone, Virginia. Again, thank you to each of you for coming today as we celebrate this life. We leave you the words of a poet that simply said, and we believe that Daryl and his final the last days shared these words with the spirit with his family. And said simply said, when I come to the end of the road, and the sun has set for me. I want the rights in the Bloomfield room while I cry for a soul set free. Miss me a little, but not too long, and not with your heads bowed low. Remember the love that we once shared. Miss me, but let me go. For this is a journey we all must take, and each of us must go alone. It's all a part of the master's plan, a step on the road to home. So family, when you are lonely, and you're sick at heart, Look to all of these friends that you know and bury your sorrows in doing good deeds. Miss me, but let me go. God bless you, family. Amen. Amen.
Thank you, Pastor Barbara. Good morning. We're here for Judd. I was growing up with Uncle Judd Head. <laughs> but I'd like to share an opportunity um, with you. Um, Shirley Jordan Powell was Daryl's aunt, um, Marie and Margie, and she was sisters. And last year we were going to launch the um, fund. However, we had uh, issues with the venue, but I think it's befitting today that we do so. And that DJ be our first recipient. Start something. 
and you ain't got nothing. I've been there too many times. But if we can give him a good start, and those young people that are coming behind him, a good start. Many of mom's friends I hear, you know she was about education. Pastor Barbara's one of her best friends. strangest places he would be at. He was the first person eating food out of the gas station to me before Wawa. I mean, you know, his mechanic that he would find, I said, what do you find him at, Daryl? But it was good mechanics. Uh, Tangent probably still using some of these mechanics today from the connections that he had, things of that nature. I'm gonna keep it real, I was there when he passed. He passed smooth. Um, that's why I'm not, I have my moments, but I'm not as tore up as I could be because I've seen the transition. It's so smooth. He wore that bag. I don't know if y'all know he had all but it's hot. Some people remember. They said, I didn't know he had it on. I said, yeah, but he wore it so smooth, you know. He kept going. He lost his leg in the end from the crash. Everybody didn't know that. Um, but he kept going, you know. He was at an event. Mike had that Mike Power had an event. He showed up. He's clean, looking good. So you can tell us what's going on with him. So we can be the legs for him. Stuff that he couldn't do. Um, even his last days, I still had hope for him because I seen him transition so much throughout the times. Um, he always had a key to our house. Always had, he had a bedroom in our house when I was five or six years old. So, um, it was almost, he had years on me, so sometimes he treated me like a brother, then sometimes he treated me like a son. So he be like, I'd be chilling, be like, all right, buddy, buddy. I'd be like, what that mean? He's like, all right, man, time to go. But it, it is what it is, you know, even in the hospital, he'll, he'll say, hey, man, time to go. So, you know, because I, I stuck with him so much um, throughout that time. But uh, 
to the kids, DJ, he be proud of you that you get to work early. I hear he gonna hear all the stuff he says about you. That you in school, you doing what you're supposed to be doing to the girls. He just wanna see you graduate, you know. And Angie you came back at the perfect time. You went to New Jersey, he let you spread your wings. He wanted you to come back, but he said he won't go bug you. And you came back at the perfect time. And you didn't go back, you stayed, you know. Jayla, I know he wants you to be a hard worker. He, things y'all been through, he said, he you know, treat you like a son, all types of things of that nature. So he brought me a wife before and spent money on me. You know, all types of stuff. He never asked for anything from me, even, you know, throughout that time. So I had to measure him to say, well, he gonna deep me around. I know he's been cut up, he gonna deep, and he never did. You know, he gave respect, and I always thought that. He could have been shoved, like pushing people around, but he, he always went with his heart all the time. And a lot of people didn't understand it, but a lot of times, all the stuff he was saying, all the stuff he meant really came, came from his heart. Big guy with a big heart. Um, dedicated, he appreciated when you came. Let's talk, him talk about when you came, Uncle Tommy. He appreciated when you and Connie came, things of that nature. And I can always see Grandpa in him, like from the looks and the features of him, Chris, my uncle. It's all, he always stayed with my Grandpa, so, or, or right next door. So when I go to my Grandpa's house, he, he right there. So I would always miss him, I would always love him. That's Jug, that's The Rock. And I would always call him, this is when I first stopped up, my hero. And he'd always be my hero, so I love it though. We all. We had a very unique brother. As teenagers, we were tight in the house. But when we left the house, we went our separate ways. He would be with Jan or Greg, and I went down the road. And they're like, you got a big brother? I'm like, yeah, they way he at. He's going to take care of his business. But he was so much like a father to me. But I want to share a little story when we were young. It was Christmas time. And we were snooping around <laughs> looking for toys. <laughs> and we found the Michael Jackson off the wall album. <laughs> and this is how brilliant he is. You know, you know, the album has the plastic color on it. He went in that <coughs> kitchen knife and slid it right where the opening was, took it out, and we played and we jammed in that house <laughs> and kept running to the window. Is she coming? Is she coming? Man, put it back, put it back. Man, I got this thing. He was definitely a leader. I didn't know he could play a 
September 20th.
Christ. <laughs> Oh. 
tell you if your soul is anchored, come with me. You ain't trusting God in this place. It's going to be all right. My God from Zion. Glory to God. Matthew 28 and 20. And Hebrews 13 and 5. And I'm going to just walk through the word. But let's pray. Jesus, in your precious name, we thank you for being our strength. Thank you for being our present help in the time of trouble. When sudden fear comes, we thank you for Lord stabilizing us. When tears walk down our eyes and our face, we thank you for wiping tears away. Strengthen this family on today. And most of all, we thank you for the life of Daryl and Tom Jordan. We thank you for what he has deposited in this world. And we thank you that we shall build on the good things and go forth. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Thank you, Tanji, and thank you, Marie, Aunt Marie, Aunt Nadine, <laughs> for allowing me the privilege to speak on Daryl's behalf. Thank you so much. My foundation scriptures today are Matthew 28 and 20. Lo, I'll be with you. Always, even to the end of the age. My support scripture will be Hebrews 13 and 5. I won't leave you, neither will I forsake you. My subject, very briefly, a promise is a promise. Okay. I want to help the religious folks today. The word declares, the soul shall my word be that go forth out of my mouth. It shall not return to me void, but it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. Every promise in him is yea and amen to the glory of God by us. And that God has no respect of person. I'm not preaching any of that. I'm just laying a foundation to kill religiosity. Come on now. Because you know, some, some of us can be very, very special. All right. We got a lot to say about nothing. All right, man. Glory to God. Hallelujah. <laughs> Through sunshine and rain, sickness and pain, Daryl had a promise. Some people have this concept. That just because you're not in church Monday through Friday, Saturday and Sunday, you ain't got nothing. Come on, man. Come on. Because you don't do it their way, like they did it or like Grandma did it, God is not with you. Come on. Daryl is my testimony and example that lo, I am with you always. I call him the combat king. Some of his friends call him Teflon D. On the other night, Michael called him Incredible Hawk. Because you can't go through all the phases and things that Daryl went through. Every damn knockdown and comeback. Every go down again and bounce back. Every go down again and come back again over and over and over. Except God be with you. I want to help you today. Life is a journey. And it is full of uncertainties. You never know the joys that you'll experience. And God knows you never know the challenges that you're going to face. But a promise tells me that I'll be with you always. Doesn't matter what people say. Doesn't matter what people think. Doesn't matter what people feel. Because there's been times I've been straight up wrong. I know it's hard to believe. <laughs> but God was still my advocate. Times that should have been destroyed and, and just, just, you know, just, just taken out altogether. According to the text, See, I'm coming from religiosity right now. According to the text, I should have been dead and gone. I should, everything should have walked and walked. People should have walked out of my life. Um, I should have lost a lot of things. But God chose to be my protection. How many can testify the same? Hallelujah. 
Let me tell them that should have been embarrassed and put to an open shame. But God chose to cover me because love covered a multitude of sins. Paul said, when I, if you don't believe me, Paul said, when I choose to do good, evil is always present. Lo, I'm with you always. Even in your stupid days. That should be part of the scripture. <laughs> Lo, I'm with you always, even in your stupid days. His grace is sufficient for us. I submit to you, it is he that puts up kings. And when he chooses, he takes them down. It is he who raises up kingdoms. And in his sovereign progress, it is he who takes them down. He gives favor to whom he chooses. Now, church folks got a problem with that. Because they, they think certain folks, they shouldn't have faith. If you don't come up with their, uh, their pedigree, you shouldn't have faith. If you're not in my denomination, you shouldn't have faith. If you weren't under, uh, under my creature, you shouldn't have faith. Pastor said, no, God chooses to bless whom he chooses to bless. Come on, give him praise. It's no goodness of our own, but the promises of God. His promise doesn't follow the rigidity of the text. And that's hard for people. It was God who walked with the wine bitter. When the text said it was uncool. Mm -hmm. It was God manifesting the flesh who healed on the Sabbath day. That was totally against the Torah. It was totally against the teaching of the temple. He dealt with the adulterous woman at the well. God forbid. Totally against the teaching at that time. But he does what he wants to do, when he wants to do it, how he wants to do it. He's sovereign, and he is God. He doesn't play by our rules. Looking over time, I can conclude that Daryl had the favor of God on his life. When we mm, swallow hard, everybody be praising the swallow hard. When we didn't agree with him, he had the favor. When we didn't agree with him, he had the favor. All through the journey, he had favor on his life. Did Darrell do some great things? Yes, he did. Did Darrell make some mistakes? Yes, he did. Some of us are sitting here right now today with nothing but the favor of God on our life. He said, what's up, man? You good? I 
said, yeah, girl, I'm good. <laughs> well, people didn't know that was cold. He didn't mean, Al, are you happy or are you sad? He mean, do you want some weed? <laughs>
want you to hear this scripture, and I want, I want you to understand it. It declares, be careful how you entertain strangers. Oh, my Lord. For you may be entertaining angels unaware. That's not spirit, that's flesh. As a youth hit angels, as father figures, grandpa, we call him for Reverend Thomas Jordan, and Uncle Alfred Powell Sr., my dad, who were excellent examples of providing his, uh, stability. And so he can see the image of a man. That's an angel. He also had guiding angels. Every conversation that I had with Daryl, I'm talking about for years, not just while he was in the hospital, but for years, there's not a conversation that he wouldn't tell me how this person was encouraging him. Get up, do better, do this. You know, you, you know, don't don't sit there. And that angel, it, it was the person of Creighton. He called him Jazz. I call him Lil Bro. That's an angel that's guiding him, that's there with him always. We wonder how these things happen. We have angels camped around us, not spirits, but people that are seen into our lives. He had guarding advocates and demanding angels, Brent Wiggins, making doctors do exactly what he told them to do. <laughs> Try new things. Is there another option? I saw this. Won't you do that? And they were like, oh, okay. <laughs> and they would do it. And guess what? It worked. All right. Angels. Con con conversating angels. Every time again, I would hear this word Stanley. I didn't really know Stanley. I saw him, you know, at school. Who oh, is Stan, Stan, Stanley? That's an angel who is encouraging him and strengthening him in his inner man, always by his side, talking to him. And then he had the strong business angel, his sister, sister Sharon, making him at ease with all business decisions. I would ask, Darren, have you taken care of this? Oh, Sharon, I got it. Oh, Darren, have you taken care of that? Oh, Sharon, I did that. Why are you asking that at all? How stupid a question are you is that? He loved his sister because he knew she was going to take care of his affairs to the best interest of him. Even when he was incapacitated and could not make decisions for himself, he trusted. That's a hard thing to do these days. He trusted. She will go to his bank account and take every dime. I know y'all got family members that will take you, rip you blind. He trusted that she will put an insurance policy and say, do not necessitate. It ain't funny. People do it all the time. He trusted her to be a business angel for his medical times. And that's commendable. He had a sounding board for advice all the time, always through life, a sounding board and a counselor, his angel, Aunt Renee. He trusted her because she was confidential. She had confidentiality, and she was honest with him. Even when it was uncomfortable, she was honest with him. He had a hookup angel who always got him the resources he needed. Morris stops. I don't know where Morris be getting this stuff from. But he had Daryl be having everything. Listen, you gotta do this to get that. Do this to get that. He had to hook up angels. These are people that are ushering you through life. He had a camaraderie and energy and joy angel. Ivan Diane Ball. His go-to's through all situations. You know he was gonna be in their house. Ivan was his fast driving friend. <laughs> when his sports car, his chauffeur, you know, they provided freedom of spirit for him. When he couldn't drive anymore, they said, Ivan picked him up and took him for a ride. That's an angel. Because there's so many people that don't, don't have any of that. Prayer angels. Prayers of a mom are undefeated. Nadine Marie Myers. The prayers of a mother. The prayers of a mother. They're with you no matter if you go to the East Coast, to the West Coast, overseas. The prayers of a mother are with you. Protecting you. Advocating for you. Having compassion and passion for you. Those are his.
his angels. And the angel of this house was named Tangy. You stuck with Daryl through thick and thin. We don't even have a standing ovation because she stuck with Daryl. We've seen it. We've seen it. We've seen it. No matter what you face, you won't 
Yeah.